Hello and welcome to the webinar, Building Up Immunity Against Viral Attacks with Botanical and Nutrients. I'm Dr. Erin Wright and I present here research-based evidence-based medicine. I'm a naturopath physician, educator, medical researcher, and presenter. Let's start with building immunity through innate and adaptive defense. As our immune system is made by innate and adaptive defense, a good immune system is supported by interplay between the two. Both innate and adaptive immune responses have a building mechanism of defense against viruses and bacteria. The example of first line of defense against viral infection would be our innate immune system consisted of natural killer cell, part of our innate system. They are major players in virus signaling recognition and elimination. Or antimicrobial peptides such as defenses are made by neutrophils and macrophages and they do activate innate immunity. Our innate immunity is made of mast cell that supports allergic responses Natural killer cell that fight viruses and malignant cells, eosinophil basal, basophils, monocytes made of macrophages that secrete interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 10, and interleukin 12. Their role is to engulf pathogens. And dendritic cell with cytokine release interleukin 12, INF alpha. Now, adaptive or acquired immunity is made of cellular immunity, which is mediated by T cells, or humoral immunity mediated by B cells. The cellular immunity act against specific antigens and they mature in thymus. They're made of uh, T cells and those produce CD8 and CD4. The CD8 cytotoxic T cells, the role is to induce cell death of infected viruses or tumor cells. The CD4 or help of T cells role is to induce immune responses by secreting cytokines. Humoral immunity, which is mediated by B cells, act against specific antigens and they do mature in bone marrow. The mature B cells produces antibodies known as immunoglobulins, such as IgM, IgE, IgG, IgD, and IgA. Some of the mechanism pathway and that enhance body ability to fight off pathogens are very important in this balancing of immune system. We are going to look at three main mechanisms here. And those are heat shock protein, toll like receptors, Th1, Th2 balance. The heat shock protein mechanism is basically activated through natural killer cells and they support innate immunity. The role is in, uh, they play a role, main role in cardiovascular, autophagy, cancer, uh, autoimmune, and in immunity in general. The heat shock protein generally is enhanced by extreme hot and cold or cold when applied locally or systemically. An example of that would be hypothermia. The hypothermia, it supports dendritic cell migration, maturation, and the inflammatory cytokine release. Now, this is just one example, but heat shock protein is involved in cellular function, in protein folding, in apoptosis and proliferation, in redox balance, and in inflammatory responses.
When we look at heat shock protein, we found out there are some other ways that can be modulated, not just by hyperthermia. And they can be modulated by microbiota and nutrition. And certain immunomodulated plants as well. Those immunomodulated plants or adaptogen, I have listed here a few of them. Those are Allium sativum, Curcuma longa, Shizanda, Glyceriza, Brahmi, Ashwagandha, Lemon Balm, Lomatium, and so on. Now we're going to look at tone-like receptor mechanism. The tone-like receptor are a class of protein that play a role in the innate responses via macrophages and dendritic cells. Tone-like receptors are enhanced by polysaccharides, and those are found in medicinal plants. Additional immunomodulator in in the plants are different other constituents as well, such as flavonoids, glycosides, terpenoids, alkanoids, caffeinic acid, rosmaric acid, ferulic acid. <clears throat> it was found that uh, medicinal mushrooms extract can build up both innate and adaptive immunity due to these polysaccharides constituents under the form of beta-glucans. Additional constituents in medicinal mushrooms support, that support the boost, boosting immune systems are protein, triterpene, phenol, and sterols, and statin, ketones, and enzyme. And they do have a synergistic effect. The immune activation induced by polysaccharides. Uh, we know the polysaccharides enhance the macrophages and immune responses because those secrete the cytokines and the chemokines that fight pathogens. Cordyceps, Lyomane, Chaga, Trimella, Acoricoblase were found to contain polysaccharides under the form of beta-glucans. There are some additional plant-derived polysaccharides that have antiviral activity, and those are astragalus, panax, ginseng, echinacea, camomilla recrutita, babgisia tintoria, and opatorium perfoliato. So to summarize again, the polysaccharides found in mushrooms. So they are Raishi, Cordycep, Lion's Mane, Chaga, Tremella, Agoricus Blase, and Herichu Erinaceum. Another mechanism that we mentioned is Th1 and Th2 balance a role in immunity. So T helper cells basically differentiate in certain subtypes. And those are the helper 1, the helper 2, the helper 3, the helper 17, this the helper 9, each one secreting different cytokines to stimulate immune responses. Th1 secretes interferon and tumor necrosis factor to fight against intracellular pathogen. Th2 secretes interleukins interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-13 to protect against extracellular pathogens. The Th1 cytokines is roles are in the viral and cancer. The Th2 cytokines role is in allergy, asthma, atopy, When modulating the immune systems through Th1, Th2, it's very important to have a good balance between the two. In good health, 
there is a balance. However, in a viral overload, it leads to dysregulation with a predominance of one of them, higher than the other. The TH1 is a cell-mediated immunity responsible for viral recovery, while TH2 cytokines participate in persistent infections. So TH1 inter in produces interference, the would five virus bacteria. The TH2 would produce the cytokine or interleukin 4, interleukin 5, 13, and mainly to fight parasites. When balancing the adaptive immune system, TH1 and TH2 is extremely important. The TH2 dominance can be also caused by depletion of glutathione, of, which is a very powerful antioxidant in the body, a corticosteroid drug use, hormonal imbalance, cortical, uh, cortisol excess, DHEA deficiency. The TH1, TH2 imbalance was found in chronic fatigue syndrome autoimmune, fibromyalgia. And so testosterone tends to decrease TH1 and increase TH2. Estrogen tends to increase TH1 and TH17. Progesterone also shifts from TH1 to TH2 and so on and so forth, inhibiting interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, INF. Phytoestrogen and phytoprogesterol are basically plant-based pre-hormones. So they do support the hormone estrogen and progesterone, and therefore they balance TH1 and TH2. An example of phytoprogesterone is vitex plant. Some example of phytoestrogen are sage, red clover, black gorse, angelica, fennel. Additional plants that balance TH1 and TH2 are Panax ginseng, Allium sativum, Grifolia, Frontosa, Brahmi, Ashwagandha, Astragalus, and Lemon Balm. Nutrients as the first line of support for immune system and fighting pathogens. Let's start with vitamin D and vitamin C. Vitamin C, it was found to support both innate and adaptive immunity and has a pleiotropic effect. Enhances differentiation and proliferation of both B and T cells. Vitamin D tends to stimulate TH1 and TH2 production synthesis with the secretion of anti-inflammatory interleukin-4, interleukin-10, and pro-inflammatory cytokines interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, INF-gamma. It protects against respiratory viruses. Additional nutrients that promotes viral resistance are the micronutrients such as selenium, which was found to have antiviral property modulating gene expression, immune responses on interleukin-6 and interferon gamma pathway. Zinc was found to have ability to inhibit viral replication. Quercetin is a flavonoid extract 
found in many fruits and vegetables. And some examples are green tea, ginkgo, onion, berries, broccoli that activate extracellular signaling regulated kinase pathway. Barberian extract from golden seed, oregano grapes, decreases the viral protein and works by modulating P38 MAPR, upregulated autophages via MAPK mTOR signaling pathway. Additional antiviral medicinal property found in curcumin. Curcumin, turmeric uh, plant extract, was found to be antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal and seems to modulate many transcriptions factor, inflammatory cytokine enzyme growth factor receptor and kinase, and downregulates heat shock protein. The therapeutic effect works through NF-kappa B signaling, MAPK STAT3, AAP1, WNT beta catechin. Resveratrol was also found to be antiviral. Resveratrol is a rich extract, a polyphenol found in, in berry skin grape, not wheat, that has an antioxidant, antifungal antiviral property. In some studies, it was even found to inhibit MERS-CoV. The antiviral mechanism works through inhibiting TNF-alpha production, mediated through citrins, blocking uh, NF-kappa-B signaling pathway. Saffron or Crocus sativus. The, the constituents out of saffron, such as crocin and picrocrocin, shows antiviral activities in uh, HSV and HIV. Saffron, known um, to be an anti tumor, anti inflammatory, and works by optimizing immune system through mechanism that arrest cell cycle progression, or modulatory effects on a phase two detoxification enzyme. And with this, I would like to thank you for attending this webinar by Dr. Ellie Wright.